Hey guys, it's Matt with the Infinite Explorers, and today we are at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales checking out this Rockwood G15 RD pull behind camper. So we have Mitch here with us, he's going to be giving us a tour of it, and we'll check out the exterior first and then we'll go to the inside. It's not so sturdy in the back corner here. You do have some nice storage. This is going to be kind of underneath the bed area inside. It is a pass through, so it runs all the way through. Got a few of the accessories that come with it in there. So it is going to come with things like a flat top griddle, which can mount right here on the side. Uh, there is an, a propane quick connect fitting underneath, so you can quick hook that up and do some cooking outside. Um, the Rockwood Geo Pros, they are all going to come standard with a tire pressure monitoring system. So that's built into the tire, uh, clamped around the wheel. So basically as you're going down the road, you'll have a remote monitor in the truck with you, um, showing you things like tire temperature and pressure. So that's a really nice touch. You do have the nice fold up steps. You got a latch so they don't move around while you're driving. But really easy to flip up and down. And then they are quick to adjust as well. You can just grab the legs and pull them out to extend them or push this button in to slide them farther in. You do have a power awning up top with an LED light strip underneath. So you can see the light strip even with the awning closed. So if you don't need the awning out, but you want the light, you can do that. You've also got an outside speaker on this side as well. You do have a solar plug in the front corner here. So the unit does come standard with 200 watts of solar. Um, you can order an additional 200 watts from the factory. And then they also all come with this plug on the front. So you can actually buy a portable solar panel that just plugs in right there and will give you some extra solar capacity to help charge your batteries. Going around to the front, you do have a power tongue jack with a small light on it to help you hook up at night. It's gonna come standard with two 20 pound propane tanks as well as room for two batteries. You got a small light in the front corner here. Coming around to the other side, you are going to have your sewer drains up in the front here, as well as your low point drains underneath the camper. <coughs> you do have an outside water connection, so that's basically going to function as your outside shower. So if you need to wash off pets or feet or whatever, you do have access to that right there. Your water connections are going to be out here, so you do have your city water connection right here, as well as an antifreeze inlet that you can use for pumping antifreeze into the camper instead of having to take uh, water lines off of the water pump or anything like that. You do have a six gallon suburban water heater that'll work off of propane or electricity. And then you've got the other side of your pass through storage. Coming around to the back, this is one of the cooler parts of the camper. So the back has this full length, full length compartment door that flips up, giving you nice big access to an outside kitchen area. You do have a mini fridge out here that's gonna be powered off of 110 volt electricity. You have a rail here, so you can also mount your outside griddle in here and do some cooking, as well as on the back here. You do have USB outlets in here as well as 110 volt outlets too. Um, all the Rockwoods are going to come standard with a receiver hitch on the back. So that's going to be rated for 300 pounds. So it'll be good for bike racks or storage platforms or things like that. And then lastly, on top of the camper, it is going to come standard with a Furion observation camera mount. So it does not come with the camera, but it is all pre-wired. So if you decide you want to add one, it's really simple to do. All right, so here we are inside the 15RD. Um, this is going to be pretty similar in size and kind of layout to the 15TB Geo, but with you know a few obvious differences. The front here is going to be pretty similar, so you've still got your three burner cooktop here, as well as a convection microwave underneath, so you do have the convection microwave in place of a traditional oven. And then you've got your sink next to it, nice and deep for doing dishes, as well as some good storage 
with some drawers and cabinets underneath. The GeoPros are going to come standard with a 1500 watt uh, WIFCO inverter. So the switch for that's right here. So basically what that's going to do is it's going to power some of the outlets in the camper just off of the batteries. So if you're camping where you don't have access to shore power, you can turn that on and still use some outlets in the camper. Lastly, on the countertop here, you're going to have a pull-up outlet. So it is going to give you some 110 volt outlets as well as a USB and USB-C. And that'll just slide back down flush with the counter and then you'll actually have a wireless charging station for your phone. You are going to have a bathroom in this camper. It is going to be a wet bath, meaning the shower is in with the same area as the toilet, but it helps save space and still gives you the amenities that you want. All of the GeoPros are going to come standard with a 12 volt refrigerator. So they are going to run off of the batteries as opposed to propane or 110 volt power. That is going to give you a bigger fridge as opposed to the, the more traditional absorption fridges. You're going to have some nice big drawers underneath the fridge as well. And then this area back here, this is going to be kind of your main sleeping area. So obviously you have this table here. That's going to move all around and swing and spin. So you can kind of orient that however you want for sleeping. But then when you are ready to sleep, this whole area makes into about the equivalent of a queen size bed. In addition to that, you do have this extra bunk up top. So you've got extra sleeping up there if you have somebody else with you, or if you would just prefer to use this as your primary bed. We've got some cubbies beside for storage as well. You have some good overhead cabinets. And then you are going to have a 12 volt TV in this geo. Um, so you don't have to be plugged into electricity in order to run the TV. Um, air conditioning and heat are going to be standard in the Geo Pros. Um, so really, you know, in a small package you have pretty much everything that you need. Lastly, as you come in the door to your left here, you've got your main control panel for the camper. So this is going to have things like the switches for your water heater and water pump, as well as the switch for your awning. There's actually an app you can download to connect to this, so you can control a lot of those things just right off of your phone. Thank you guys for watching our walkthrough video of this camper. If you'd like to subscribe, feel free to click the button down below. And if you want to leave any comments or questions, we'll answer them as quickly as we can. If you want to save an additional $100 off any of the units you see at Nee Myers Trailer Sales, all you have to do is mention Infinite Explorers when purchasing your camper and it'll give you an extra $100 off. Thanks for watching.